Yo, what's going on there, YouTube? Yo, what's up? This is SEL0320. This is Joe Johnson 030. Representing JVS, um, we're going to do our first reaction TV review for episode 3 of episode, I'm sorry, season 7 of The Walking Dead. The name of this episode is called The Cell. This is the Dwight, Negan, and Daryl episode. And, I mean... There wasn't a lot of gore. There wasn't a lot of death. But you come out of this episode just feeling some type of way, man. Negatively. Um, I just feel down. <laughs> like, I witnessed Daryl, one, go through torture most of this episode. Mind games and just playing on his conscience. And then I think the problem is, Joe, that we care about Daryl and the people that Negan has affected. And it's like, I, one thing I can say is I never thought I would come out of this episode sympathizing and understanding Dwight. Yeah. I don't know, where was your take of the episode? Um, yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely depression. Um, but, you know, it, 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 it's, it's intended to do that just because so you can maybe feel the weight of, you know, uh, like, people like Negan takes control of is not... They're not like subject to these like pleasantries and, and things like that, and um, cause like even even with Negan's character, like in the past, I I I like Negan as a villain. I was like, oh snap, you know, cause you you there was an aspect of he was kind of justified, kind of for what he did, mm -hmm. uh, just because Rick and the group attacked him first. Yeah, but now it's like, dad, like. Um, you know, he, he literally takes everything, yeah. everything from you. Yeah. I um, mean, his own men seem like they almost suffer more than the people that are actually getting killed. Yeah. Like, in the episode, it was a dude, he was like, I don't want to come back. He's like, take me out. Yeah, It'll be worse. Was. Better. And so it's like, who are the real really, victims? That man wanted to go, put, put out his misery. And, and all he was doing was working for Nick. Yeah. He wasn't, it wasn't like, you know. Yeah, fam. And so it's like, who are who gets it worse? The people, you know, that are in their own kind of section and their own kind of group that work under Negan, you know, the people that actually are working for Negan as his gorillas. Yeah. And um, I don't know, man. It's, it's dark, man. It was some dark stuff. I think when Daryl got that picture, he started breaking down. I, I was like... I knew exactly what the picture was and as soon as I, I was like, bro, I just can't right now, man. And even Dwight, though. Like, with his wife. Yeah. And that whole... I, I feel like Negan antagonized him. He, no, he, definitely. He, oh, definitely. He looks at people that are strategists and are potential leaders and he just keeps prying them the most. And that's why, I think that's the reason why he gives Rick such a, a issue is because he can see that same as that thing with Dwight. And it's like, I mean, dang. I don't know, man. It was rough. Jeffrey Dean Morgan is an amazing villain. Like, he plays that role too with T. Um, Daryl, or Norman Reedus in this episode did a great oh job. God, she did an amazing job. But I gotta say, even Dwight, man. Like, yeah. whoever the actor is that played Dwight, I mean, he... He switched my whole perception of him as a character. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, definitely. I can't I, this episode. I was like, I, we were hating on the dude. Like, Why, you a punk? Yeah. I was like, dang, Dwight, I didn't know. I'm sorry. I mean, like, we, don't even, we didn't even get bad. to see what he really got to yeah. go through. We just heard it. Yeah, and low key, I mean, he's actually looking out for Daryl, kind of. He, um, to an extent. To, an, to a degree. Yeah. You know, it could be worse, is what I'm saying. Yeah. For him, but, um, yeah. Yeah. It's weird, though, because. I feel like he's projecting onto Daryl because he's had everything taken from him. So yeah. he's trying to do that to Daryl. It's like him yeah. killing uh, the girl, him taking his jacket, him taking his motorcycle, him taking, you know, he's trying to break him personally, him wanting to kill him. I think he's projecting because Daryl was the one, in spite of him trying to kill them and stop them, he let him go. He gave Dwight another chance. And so it's like he's projecting onto the person that showed him mercy the first time. Um, which I think that's a really interesting dynamic because at the end of the day, I wonder what's going to happen. Um, like, what is Negan going to do with Daryl now? Yeah. Considering what happened. I don't know. 
But what would we get this episode, man? I mean, I give it up to the team. Yeah, actually, I was, I was actually thinking the same thing. Like, I, I don't see any fault in the episode. Like, there was no down moment. There was never a moment I was like, what is this? Or happy go lucky. I, I felt emotionally convicted the whole entire episode. So I give it a 10 as well. Um, but yeah, hope y'all uh, stay tuned. We're going to do like a reaction video as soon as possible. Keep it locked. JVS, we ain't going to stop. Peace, everybody. <laughs>